Come here, bro. Give me your stuff. Give me your stuff. I know you got good stuff, and I know that you're not a caveman, so don't lie to me. Now give me your items. Thank you. What's up guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today we're checking out the cave world mod and also the more mod Yeah, it sounds weird when I say it out loud. So I put down this sign check this out guys. So it's called The more mod so you get it like you know more or it's got a lot of ore in it It goes perfect with this mod because it adds in a brand new dimension where you can go mining So if you love mining, you're absolutely gonna love this mod and if you combine both of them There's like so many different ores you can mine. It's a lot of fun so in front of us, we've got a portal. It's out of, you know, mossy cobblestone, and it looks cool. You light it in a really unexpected way. Check this out. So I've got what you light it with in his chest. It's actually with an ender chest. That is so weird, isn't it? So what you do is you just right-click it, bam, and it's lit. But it makes sense, too, because one thing you can do... Let me just grab this. I'm taking it. It's mine. So you can actually, like, right-click this... And the cave world portal has its own chest so you can store stuff here Which is kind of cool because you know, it's a mining dimension So you probably have like all kinds of ores and stuff. So it's actually gonna be helpful Anyways, we're gonna jump in and check this place out and I already found like a really cool area So this sometimes spawns a massive cave. So this place is freaking huge There's ores absolutely everywhere too guys. I mean look at this. Look how cool. This is this place is huge You're gonna want night vision though um, don't worry about that TNT. I went into the config and added in a couple more things to make it more fun. I did not mean to fall right there. So yeah, you can config stuff. You can add TNT any kind of block you want. I thought it'd be fun to have like some TNT around as you're like mining in this dimension. All right, so you can see guys, this place, huge. So many caves to explore or everywhere. You're going to get all kinds of armor, weapons, tools, and crazy items. So guys, when you get into this dimension, you're going to notice when you put a pickaxe in your hand, something happens. Check this out, mining points on the top right of my screen. So basically, when I go mining in this area, I'm going to gain points. And you're probably wondering, like, exactly how you get them. Because it's not from stone, guys. I don't get points. I feel gypped. I want, like, a quarter point. Just give me something. I'm mining stone. I don't even want the stone. But yeah, any kind of ore is going to gain you one point. It doesn't matter what kind of ore it is. I can get a bunch of coal. Got some over here. So I'm at 31, 32, 33, and so on. So it's pretty simple. And if you install this mod, you probably love mining. So you're going to gain like all kinds of points. And trust me, you're going to need them because you actually need 1,000 points to tame this dude in this dimension. There's actually one right over there. You see the caveman? He doesn't look like a caveman at all. I don't know what he looks like. He looks like a robot. All right, guys, let's grab this spawn egg right here. Let's get some emeralds, which you actually need to tame the dude, which seems kind of expensive. But trust me, it's worth it. So let's get a brand new one. So this dude right here. You could see him totally a caveman made of metal or something. He's got like a backpack on. He looks pretty cool. He's got 30 health. So he will pick up any item on the ground. If you don't have him tamed, he will steal your stuff sort of if you drop it. Check that out. It like went into his head. So guys, once you get 1,000 points, all you have to do is right click him with an emerald. And I actually did this before. I gained 1,000 points. It took me a very, very long time to do it. And I tamed a dude. But I was kind of, you know, a slave driver. And he ran outside the portal. Don't worry, though. I got him trapped out there. We'll test him out in a minute. So you do have one other choice. Let's say you don't want 1,000 points. That's a lot. You kill him. So let's... Oh, my God. He got afraid when I put this in my hand. You see that? Come here, bro. Give me your stuff. Give me your stuff. I know you got good stuff. And I know that you're not a caveman. So don't lie to me. Now give me your items. Thank you. So he's got a lot of stuff that he actually keeps with him. So definitely worth killing one if you see him. So let's get all this stuff. He had a bunch of emeralds. He had a lot of rope. Seriously, that is a ton. He had, um, let's see, he had a bunch of coal, 20 torches, iron pickaxe, iron ingots, bread, and a gold ingot. So basically all the supplies you need in this dimension, you can just kill it, dude. And, and everything's going to work out perfectly for you. So guys, you noticed that this item right here is not in vanilla Minecraft, a rope, which actually would be cool if it was. But if you want to craft one of these, it's going to be three string and also some leather. So what I want to do is show you how it works. It's kind of like a ladder, but it doesn't have to be like against the wall. Plus, it just kind of hangs down. Let's try this. Look at that. So let's say you're up really high and you want to go down without killing yourself. This could be a good way to do it without taking too much damage. I'm probably going to die right now. Let's go for this. All right, so you can climb up this thing, as you can see, but be careful. You know, it's not a ladder. I easily fell off that thing. All right, let's try this one more time. Okay, let's go up here. That's old shift. All right, there we go. I can't fall off the shift. I'm just, like, nice and calm. So we'll go down nice and slow and not kill ourselves. And there we go. Not too bad. So kind of a cool way to go down from, like, a really high area. 
and I do want to test something out. There's one thing I didn't try, guys, and that's putting it up really high because it seems to just go down to the ground. So maybe this will work. Let's try it. Oh, my God. That was a fail. So, yeah, you can't do it from super high. Let's see what we can do, though. Can we connect this? Oh, you can. So you can connect this and make, like, a giant rope and actually like, travel up pretty high pretty easily. I mean, this is a lot easier to do than putting a ladder, like, against the wall or something like that. Not to worry, guys. Like I said before, I actually did capture a dude, and it was 1,000 mining points, and now he's freaking out over here, having a seizure or something. So I want to show you how he works the best I can. He's really upset right now. Sorry about this. Just a little trap. It's, it's no pain, you know, no pain, no gain, bro. Okay, so if I right-click him with an open hand here, you will notice that he won't stop moving. Seriously, I'm coming down after you now. There we go. So he's got a giant inventory. It's like two double chests, you know, next to each other. Well, two normal chests equals one double chest equals a caveman. That's Minecraft math for you right there, guys. So basically, he has a huge inventory. He'll pick up any items and kind of follow you around. He doesn't like this dimension. I'll throw down some stuff. Like, if he's right next to you as you're mining, like, the coal and stuff will fall on the ground. And he'll pick up all this stuff. Plus, you could right-click him and store it yourself if you want to. So once again, let's right-click the dude. And it's stored in here. So basically, he's like a dude who will follow you around and help with storage. He doesn't actually mine or anything like that. He's very expensive, though. 1,000 mining points, and he escaped the dimension. What's wrong with you? That's why you're trapped here, bro. Yeah, think about what you did. All right, guys, we are back into this dimension now, and we're about to check out the more ores mod. And I gotta say, it goes amazingly well with the Cave World mod. It gives you so much more to explore, stuff to mine, all kinds of items, armor, and weapons. So, yeah, let's jump right into it. So, right here, we have a bunch of tools. You can see this one looks epic. The fired set. So the sword actually comes with fire aspect 2. Plus it does 9 attack damage. Which is even better than diamond. So I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to stab some mobs. Let's go for it. So down in this dimension guys. A lot of mobs are probably going to spawn. There will be zombies and stuff chasing you. Stab them and light them on fire. That's how it's done. I'm sorry guys. So sorry about this. So yeah the weapon extremely powerful. So some really cool stuff you can make down here. And the entire set it's really good. And to craft it, it's pretty simple. You actually take, like, an iron set and add a meteorite block to it. So you mine these, and then you just add the iron sword, and you have an epic weapon. It's pretty cool. So same thing on all these, as you can see right here. And luckily, this mod did not forget the hoe. I hate when mods forget it. I feel like the hoes need some love, guys. And this mod gave the hoes a lot of love, which sounds weird. So what we're going to do is grab this pickaxe right here. I'll show you. It mines pretty quickly. I mean, it's a good pickaxe. Better than diamond right here. So some cool stuff. And guys, I don't want this to get boring. So I'm not going to go over like every single item. I'll show you all the recipes. But some of these are like the same as vanilla stuff. Like this set right here. The copper set. Pretty much an iron set. Except with a different color. So to craft it as you'd expect. Some copper ingots. Which come directly from copper ore. Which you will find in this dimension. And same thing with this. You know the sapphire set right here. It's the same as diamond. Comes from these gems. Which of course come from sapphire ore. So this one is really cool, guys. This stainless set. It's stainless steel, so there's no ore called stainless steel. I would hope there wouldn't be. It'd be funny if there was. I've seen mods that do stuff like that. But for this one, guys, same recipes as you'd expect, except stainless steel is not easily crafted. So I'll show you guys what you have to do. It actually gets a little bit complicated, so bear with me on this one. First thing you need is this special furnace right here. It's a uranium furnace. To craft that, it's going to be iron ingots and platinum ingots, which actually come from platinum ore. And we also need a tin block, which is from tin ingots, which, of course, come from tin ore. Then you have this amazing furnace. Now what you want to do is take an iron ingot and a platinum ingot, combine them in a crafting table, and you get this special one right here. And you actually can take these and put them in a better crafting table. I'll find you after. I'll, I'll show you after, guys. I'll show you. I don't know what I said, but I'll show you after. But yeah, you get this special chrome iron ingot. And then what you do is you shove it in here. Just shove it in. We'll grab one. I've got one right here. We'll put it right there. So you can see this already looks different. It looks confusing. So what you need is uranium. So this, of course, you know, it comes from ore, guys. I'm just going to toss it in. We'll take it and get, we'll put it down there as some fuel. And the last thing we need is a flask. So to craft one of these, it's going to be tin ingots and some glass. And you get five. Fill it up with water. And you're ready to go. So now we're actually using like a special furnace. It's pretty simple to use. The only thing you could really make in it is this special steel. And also, you can take titanium and smelt it. It's the only place you could do it. But of course, like any other thing you normally use a furnace for can be done in this one too. So that is how you do it, guys. You'll get that weapon. It takes some work, but it's pretty powerful. After all that work, I kind of feel like I need to kill something. This is made of stainless steel, bro. This is like the finest quality weapon. I worked hard for it. I feel like something must die. So yeah, we're killing them with stainless steel. I mean, this is high quality stuff. Can I have your potato? Is that cool with you, bro? Thank you very much. 
And next up, guys, we're checking out some armor, weapons, and tools. And in here, there's actually a lot of stuff you could craft. So there's the bronze set, the silver set, ruby set, and titanium set. And there's a couple other things, like you can make mushroom stew with a special bowl. A silver bowl, so you feel like you're, like, rich or something. So with this one, guys, the bronze set is going to be from bronze ingots, which come from a combination of tin and copper. So you combine those and get a pretty cool set. It's about the same as iron. So we'll check this out. Let's put this on. All right, there we go. How do we look? Looks like I spilled mustard all over my outfit. I don't think it really looks good on me. It's not really my color. It's all right, though. All right, so let's see what we can do here. So this stuff, the same as normal Minecraft, guys. About the same as iron. But there is a hammer. I like that. So the recipe for it, it's going to be two bronze ingots, string, and sticks. And it's the only set that actually got a hammer, which I thought was cool. So I feel special when I hold a hammer. Let's kill a zombie with a hammer. I love it. I'm sorry, bro. Sorry I'm torturing you guys today. Okay, so pretty cool weapon right there. This stuff, this one, the set itself, like the armor, is the same as diamond exactly. But the weapon, really powerful. 10 attack damage. That is pretty good. So to craft it, it's going to be silver ingots, which come from silver ore. The ruby set, once again, the same as diamond here. This one is going to be from ruby ore. And the set, the same as diamond. But the silver one, it's so good. We'll test that one out. And we won't go over the other stuff because it's all pretty much exactly the same. The titanium set, once again, is the same as diamond. So all these sets, the same in armor. So we'll try that one on. And we'll grab this awesome weapon. And we'll kill some stuff. Okay, so let me take this off. Let's grab this, put it on. It's like so white, it's ridiculous. I have like some kind of weird like albino set on. But you know what? I like it. I feel powerful. I know this weapon is strong. So once again, we'll quickly kill a mob with it. 10 attack damage. Oh, two hits to a zombie. That is sick. So yeah, guys, not really worth going over the other tools and stuff because they're kind of the same. I mean, it's like showing you guys the same sets over and over again. Like the ruby one and titanium, same as the one we're wearing right now. And yeah, we're going to actually get this. Let me get this pickaxe and we'll mine something real quick. Oh my God, look at that speed. That's amazing. That is so sick. And to test my armor, I haven't given the zombies a chance today. Go for it can't even feel it bro you're like a villager and a zombie it's scary i'm gonna kill you with the pickaxe it's that powerful so yeah this stuff really cool a lot of different items and different armor you can get in this dimension you might have been wondering how do you create this silver bowl right here so to make it it's gonna be three silver ingots and then you use it it's the same recipe it's just like another mushroom stew it's your own version it's got a better bowl which is kind of cool but he has the same thing and now we're onto the inventor's table. And this is pretty much a crafting table, except you could only craft specific stuff in it. So for this one, guys, it is going to be iron ingots, lapis, and a tin block like that. It looks pretty cool, too. I know it's like a normal crafting table, a different color. But you know what? I like this color. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a copper ingot and a tin ingot. I showed you guys before you can combine those in a normal crafting table. But in this one, it's even better. So if you take both, you actually get two bronze ingots instead. So you probably want to craft it. It's going to be awesome. So we also want to make some TNT, of course, uranium TNT. So for this, uranium ingots, which comes from the ore and also some sand like that. And this thing is so sick. We're going to blow it up after. Actually, you know, I can't wait. I can't wait for this. Let's get some flint. We'll go into creative because this thing has a horrible explosion. All right, guys, here we go. Uranium TNT. Blow it up. It's automatic, too. Look at that. So you get it kind of in your face if you use flint and steel. That is sick, though. I mean, that is an amazing explosion. Bombie would love it, but sadly, you know. He's not updated to this version. I know he hasn't been in too many mod showcases lately. So I think we didn't test it enough, probably. Maybe we should get, like, you know, a couple more here. Let's get four. I can't place... Okay, I can. It wouldn't let me place it for a second. All right, here we go. Four. That is perfect. So, yeah, this is very, very destructive. A fun one to mess around with. And as I showed you guys before, I did, like, config some of this to, like, make TNT and stuff spawn in here. I'll show you guys how to do that after. All right, guys. Another thing you can make is a silver chest. So this one is going to be a bunch of silver ingots, you know, in chest form. And I believe it's just more blast resistant. It looks kind of white. Like, really white. There's no difference. It's like a normal chest. It's fine. It's, it's not too exciting. I don't know if it turns into a double chest. I got to try this. I'm thinking no. Oh, it does. Cool. So, yeah, you can make, like, a double silver chest. Kind of expensive to make it, but I believe it won't blow up if you have, like... You know, if you're messing around with uranium TNT and it blows up next to your stuff, at least that stuff will survive. All right, so, guys, one thing you can do is make blocks that are blast-resistant. So, you can take, like, a bunch of copper plate, which actually has no recipe at the moment. I'm assuming they're going to change that soon. And make a block that can't be blown up. And it looks kind of like a Rubik's Cube, sort of. Kind of. It looks pretty cool. I mean, you could do this with a lot of different blocks and change them into reinforced. But at the moment, I don't believe there's any way to do it in survival. 
And one last thing we want to make here is a uranium compressor. This one, it's a work in progress, but I figured I'd show you guys the recipes anyway. It's going to be some platinum ingots like that, an iron ingot, and also a tin block. Oh, guys, and I did want to point out you can craft anything in this that you normally could, but you can also craft, like, special stuff and get the extra materials and things like that. But now we're on to this special furnace. Kind of already showed you guys how it works. Well, I showed you exactly how it works. The only other thing you could, like, do special in here is actually this right here, the titanium ore. So what I need is a brand new flask. Got to get these things. You get, like, five when you craft it, though, so it's not too bad. All right, there we go. So this is the only way to make the titanium set, which, once again, is the same as diamond. But yeah, I'm smelting it with my water and my uranium. Seems like a dangerous thing to do. All right, there we go. I got two blocks, so kind of cool. So yeah, a lot of different stuff you can do with that. But this one right here, guys, work in progress. It's the compressor, so there really isn't too much in here. I tried everything to make this work, too. I got all kinds of items. There seems to be no way to work this. Looks a little bit different than the furnace. So yeah, it's set up exactly the same, but honestly, whatever you put in here doesn't really do anything special. But I imagine in future updates, they're probably going to change this. You'll be able to do all kinds of cool stuff with, like, uranium. One of the cool features of this mod is you can make any block spawn in this dimension. And as you can see, I might have had too much fun and spawned in TNT and stuff like that. So you could have, like, freaking enchantment tables spawning if you really wanted to. So what I'm going to do, guys, is show you how it works. So let's get out of game. You go into the mod section. Scroll down until you get to Cave World. And all you have to do is, come on, scroll, what are you doing? All right, there we go. So hit config and go to vein customization. So there's all kinds of options here. It's pretty crazy. If you go into this one, you're going to notice like all the vanilla stuff is automatically here. So it's pretty simple. Like if you check out iron ore, just hit like edit and you'll see like the stats they have for it, like how often it spawns. And this stuff, it's not too important, guys. I just went with pretty like basic settings with mine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one. And let's say you really want like... I don't even know. What do you want? You want emerald blocks to spawn. That would be epic. So we'll choose this. We'll hit done. And over here, basically, this is how often you want them to spawn. Just put in, like, a large number. If you want, like, tons of these to spawn, and you want them to spawn, like, 50 at a time, that's the number right here, guys. If I want, like, 50 at a time, you could make that happen if you wanted to. And the block that's going to be replaced by that would be normal stone, which the dimension is pretty much made of. And this is where you want it to generate. Right now, it's set to the entire world. You could change it, make it kind of rare, make it like, you know, only at below 10 height or something like that. And all you have to do is hit done. You don't have to put in anything else. Done. It's going to spawn in. And that's how I got like TNT and a couple other things spawning in these dimensions. All right, guys. So what I did is I messed around with it quite a bit. And this is what the dimension looks like now. Look at all this uranium TNT. It's so sick. There's diamond blocks everywhere. So really, you can screw around with it a lot, get all kinds of, like, insane stuff spawning. I have, like, massive amounts of TNT and all kinds of crazy stuff. So you could have a lot of fun with this one. And guys, I did want to mention, there isn't just, like, giant open areas like I showed you before. I mean, there is normal cave systems, giant ravines like this. And yeah, the ravines are pretty common and gigantic compared to normal. So as you're exploring around, you're going to find some cool stuff. And there are strongholds in this dimension, guys. You can accomplish pretty much everything in this area, too. Anyways, guys, that's about all there is to show with this mod. It adds in an amazing cave dimension. A dude that'll help you, like, pick up items and stuff like that. But he really doesn't like me for some reason. But, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and the commentary. If you did, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.